بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, We've addressed the first six verses that spoke about events or matters that will take place before resurrection uh, The following verses uh, are addressing things that will take place uh, after resurrection <coughs> Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ If you've noticed from the beginning of the surah, Allah Azza wa Jal say, uh, said, إِذَا وَإِذَا وَإِذَا When, when, and when, and when, and when, and when. This is an introduction that when all of these things happen, there is something expected after that, that when I'll tell you, if this happens and if this happens, you're waiting for something. Okay, what's going to happen if this or when this happens? Well, this continues for 12 verses. This verse, say, Allah says, وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ And when souls are paired. Uh, and Nu'man ibn Mashir, رضي الله عنه, uh, said that Umar ibn al-Khattab, رضي الله عنه, asked people about uh, this verse. What do you know about it? So people kept quiet. He radiallahu anhu said, It is when Allah Azza wa Jal pairs pious people together and evil people together. Pious people in Jannah and evil people in hell. So there is no doubt that each one of us will be paired with someone. You choose that someone here. If you're pious, you keep pious company, you won't be wronged. You will be paired with pious people. But if you decide, if you choose in this world to be around evil people and bad company, then you chose your destruction. You chose your pair for the hereafter. And then Allah says, وَإِذَا الْمَوْؤُودَةُ سُئِلَتْ بِأَيِّ ذَنْبٍ قُتِلَتْ And when the girl who was buried alive is asked for what sin she was killed. Now, one thing very important to, to uh, notice here, who is being asked? The one who was killed. The one who was buried alive is the one who's asked. If the one who was wronged will be asked, what about me and you? What's going to happen to us? The one who was buried alive, according to their practice, either at birth or at the age of six, will be asked. This is to tell me and you that you will be asked. It's a form of rebucking the killer who has killed for no reason, except for fear of shame and disgrace and other killed for fear of poverty. Just like I... It's, it's very strange. I get approached by some people and they say, um, I've got three children, four children. I, I don't want more children. Why? Uh, who's going to spend on them? Excuse me? Who's spending on them now? Who's spending on you now? Who spent on them when they're in your, their mother's womb? Allah will spend on them. This idea is absent from some Muslims' minds. They don't want a lot of children. Why? Because, um, you know, we're poor. It's like Allah Azza wa Jal creates a being and does not decree its provision. He just leaves it like this. Subhanallah. A 
everybody will be questioned, including messengers and prophets. As Allah says, فَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ We will ask those who were sent messengers and we will ask the messengers. So no one will be free from being questioned and asked. Abu Barz al-Aslami رضي الله عنه and this is uh, narrated by, uh, reported by a Tirmidhi classified as authentic by Al Albani. He said that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, No slave's feet will be able to move on the day of judgment until he is asked. You will be asked and I will be asked about every single thing. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam here listed few things. His lifespan, how he spent it. His knowledge, what he did with it. Did he act upon it or not? This is what we were talking about a while ago. It's, the matter is not just accumulating knowledge. The matter is acting upon the knowledge. And his money, his wealth. How he earned it and how he spent it. Was it lawful to start with or was it ill-gotten? And then when he spent it, did he spend it on things that are halal? Or were they spent on things that were haram? And then about his body, how he wore it out. You see the expression? How he wore it out. Because what bodies, as we know, wear out with age. This means how he utilized this body from beginning to end. We'll be asked about life, our lifespan, the time, our bodies, and the wealth and the knowledge. Are we ready to answer? Do we have an answer? We better prepare an answer. However, we better make sure that the answer is correct. وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ And when the pages are spread and made public, uh, this is talking about the record of deeds, of course. Al-Qurtubi said, the record of deeds will be unfolded af after it was folded. And these are the records in which the angels recorded every deed of mankind, whether evil or good, and are folded at the moment of his death and will be unfolded on the day of resurrection. Each person will uh, take his record of deeds and will see everything in it and will rec recognize everything in it and remember everything in it. And then those who have wronged themselves, as Allah says, will say, مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةٌ وَلَا كَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا what is wrong with this book, with this record? It leaves nothing, small or large, minor or major, except that it has it recorded. And they will find what they have done present before their eyes. Qatada rahmatullahi said, O oh son of Adam, your record of deeds are being filled and will eventually be folded 
and then will be unfolded and displayed. So let each one of you see what he writes in that record. It's as if we are the ones who are actually writing. Then Allah Azza wa Jal, Azza wa Jal says, وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ كُشِطَتْ And when the sky is stripped away. Al-Baghawi said it will be taken from its place. You see, if something has a lid, then you strip it off. You look up and you see nothing. That's what's going to happen. People would look up and see nothing. The sky will be stripped off. That great cover, great creation, which puzzled humans' minds with its greatness and the creation in it. Subhanallah. I really, if, if I was to tell you, look up at the ceiling of this masjid and suddenly you see that ceiling of the masjid being stripped off. And it's just a masjid. You would say, oh, subhanAllah, what's happening? How can this ceiling be stripped off like this as if you're peeling a banana? Well, imagine then what's going to happen to our hearts when the heavens are being stripped off. وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ سُعِرَتْ And when hellfire is set ablaze. Al-Tabari said, it is kindled to fierce ablaze by the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal and the sins of mankind. Its flame will increase, its intensity, its heat, everything will increase. The fuel of that fire, as Allah has says, وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ Its fuel are people and stones. People will be the fuel of the fire of hell. We ask Allah's protection. وَإِذَا الْجَنَّةُ أُزْلِفَتْ اللَّهُمَّ إِنَّا نَسْأَلُكَ مِنْ فَضْلِكَ And when paradise is brought near. Subhanallah. Al-Qurtubi said, Allah Azza wa Jal will make it close to the pious who are deserving to enter it. It will be displayed to those who will enter it and it will appear to them very easy to be entered. All of which brings that joy, that brightness to the face. They feel the good news that is awaiting them. Now after these uh, verses, Allah says, عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا أَحْضَرَتْ A soul will then know what it has brought with it. Remember a while ago I said, وَإِذَا 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 and when and when and when and when when this happens and when this happens and so we're waiting for something. We're waiting for an answer. We're waiting to see what's next, right? Allah is saying when all of this happens, before resurrection and after, each soul will then know what it has brought. When these huge, serious, abnormal events take place in the universe, each soul will know the good and the bad they brought with them or they sent forth from dunya 
they recorded in the records of deeds. And the problem is that no one can deny it. And the worst problem is that no one can change. Nothing can be changed. Ya hasrata ala ma Regret. They regret their negligence in dunya. Qala rabbi rji'oon. Oh Allah, bring me back. Why? La'alli a'malu salih. Perhaps I will do righteous deeds. Ibn Kathir said, at that time, each soul will know what it did. Allah says, يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْمَرًا وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا the day every soul will find what it has done of good present before it and what it has done of evil, it will wish that between itself and that evil was a great distance. And Allah warns you Himself. And to Allah is the final destination, or Allah is the final destination, meaning the meeting of Allah Azza wa Jal is the final stage after which recompense will take place. We need to take our akhirah seriously. We need to take this warning from Allah Azza wa Jal and other warnings in the Quran seriously. No matter how many times we repeat saying, brothers, we need to act upon what we hear and what we learn, it won't be enough because Allah Azza wa Jal repeated and repeated and repeated the same matter just that people would know that it is serious and they need to work for it and that it is a reality that, will, that they will face one day. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect us and to enable us and to make our meeting with Him a joyful one. Allahumma ameen wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillah.